Bart Ehrman is fond of saying that if Jesus really said, before Abraham was, I am, and I and my father are one, the Synoptic Gospels would have surely reported it. Since they don't report it, Ehrman infers that it didn't really happen and the author of John invented it. This is a textbook example of the argument from silence. In logic, an argument from silence is a pattern of reasoning in which the failure to mention a fact or event in a known source is used to draw an inference, usually to the conclusion that the supposed fact is false or that the supposed event didn't actually happen. It's not always necessarily fallacious, but at best, it's a pretty precarious way to argue. Exactly how reliable is our intuition at predicting whether a writer would mention a fact or event that did really happen? As it turns out, not so great. By looking at some examples, I think you'll see that we vastly over overestimate things. In 41 AD, Claudius expelled the Jews from Rome. Both the Jewish writers Josephus and Philo fail to mention it despite them preserving a ton of Jewish history. Acts and Suetonius are the only sources that describe it. Marco Polo explored China but never mentions the Great Wall. Testify, all I'm going to do is point out that if you want to defend the historical legitimacy of a book, maybe don't compare it to writings that historians generally believe was entirely fraudulent. And for the record, Polo's failure to ever mention the Grey Wall of China is cited as one of the reasons for why him visiting the country was unlikely. Just to show how bad your example truly is.